Good evening to all the viewers. In this evening, we are going to discuss a uh, certain issue regarding about talk show on Six Shadow and its part 133. And uh, as we are going to discuss uh, several issues regarding about the uh, goodness of Six Shadow, uh, regarding about uh, our rights and uh, about the constitutional provisions uh, to protect uh, the hill strikes. So, as for uh, everything is uh, here, uh, we are going to discuss uh, several issues regarding about. Uh, Yes, the protection of the local self-government bodies uh, regarding about uh, paragraph 3 and uh, paragraph 2, subparagraph 7, everything will be discussed today. So, uh, before that, uh, let's, uh, <coughs> let me ask, uh, let's go directly to the point. And uh, let me ask, uh, yes, we have to know, uh, especially about the six years. So, many people, they, they are not aware about six years. What is six years? Mm -hmm. As, um, yes, not only here in Caribbean law, but uh, even in... Uh, if you are going to talk about a wider part, even in the Nordic India, in uh, several places, even in the scheduled areas, in the six scheduled areas, many people in Nordic they are not aware about six schedules. So yes, uh, as uh, we know that uh, the Indian <coughs> Constitution they have passed uh, about a six uh, in the Constituent Assembly that uh, in the Constituent Assembly it, uh, they, they, that uh, the six schedule was passed. And after a six schedule was passed in the Constituent Assembly, uh, it was it is very difficult to repeal that. Uh, this uh, the, 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 the law of six schedule. So let me ask you a question, sir. Uh, yes, uh, as uh, we know that we have seen that uh, from the past uh, year uh, for a long time that uh, many people in India, mm. uh, especially in the uh, northeastern north -eastern part of India, they are raising their voice to repeal back the six schedule. <coughs> so yes, uh, can it be repealed back? Can we repeal back the six schedule? as it has already passed in the Constituent Assembly. According to constitutional law, constitution, constitution, the constitution of India, and along with it, the sixth schedule, the fifth schedule, and the fifth schedule, the sixth schedule, mm. these are passed by, framed by, and passed by the Constituent Assembly of India, which held between 1946 and 1950. Mm. It ended uh, in the midnight of uh, 25 January 1950. Since constitution was framed by the Constituent Assembly, the, if the constitution is uh, repealed, then another Constituent Assembly will have to be Yes, constituted. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. it must be constituted. Constituted. Yes, yes. So, since six schedule, according to uh, the former Chief Justice of Supreme Court of India, Muhammad Hidayatullah, according to him, the fifth and sixth schedules are hardly a code. They are constitution within a constitution. Yes. And then, Justice B. L. Hansaria of the uh, Supreme Court also said, Sikh schedule to the constitution is a mini constitution. It is similar to the law governing the ter territories of the Red Indians in the USA. <coughs> Since it is a constitution, then Sikh schedule cannot be repealed by the parliament. Okay, yes. If they contemplate to repeal it, then they will have to reconstitute reconstitute constituent assembly. Hmm. That's what I understand. Hmm. Okay, okay. That means the six schedule, as hmm. uh, uh, this one, uh, as uh, B.L. Hansaria said, that six schedule uh, is a mini constitution. Mini constitution. The constitution of India. That means there is a uh, there is no difference between the constitution of India and six schedule. I mean to say about the power. Yes. The uh, six schedule is uh, <coughs> powerful like the Indian constitution. Yes. Yes. Except the difference is. A Indian constitution, it has got power over the army, okay. uh, currency, yes, finance, yes, yes, yes. Mm. and some other things, mm -hmm. uh, foreign affairs, etc. Mm. Except those three, uh, Sikh Shidun doesn't have their own uh, currency, monetary power, or and then it uh, mean currency making of currency, and it, it doesn't have the power, and then it doesn't have army. Okay. It has got police, uh, Sikh Shidun. A, a, a six schedule consti uh, council council constituted under the six schedule they can also have police mm -hmm. at the village level mm -hmm. 
village police. Mm -hmm. So in uh, police method, they have got a little power, but they have, they have got no power over army and foreign affairs. Mm -hmm. This is the difference only. Mm -hmm. So, sir, um, yes, uh, as we have heard about uh, the, the difference between the constitution and uh, the, the, the power of six shadow. Mm -hmm. So, yes, uh, it's a uh, yes, it's a uh, very important to know that even a six shadow is uh, is a uh, not more or less or less than powerful like the constitution of India. Uh -huh. So, yes, we need to know that, uh -huh. and we need to be aware that. Uh, and so, what, what what will you what is what is your message to those <laughs> the uh, handful of people that who are shouting to recruit back the, the six shadow? From the ah. constitution, it is is it very easy to recall back on the constitution from the constitution of India? Yeah, if we abide by law, then it is very difficult to repeal it. Uh, yes, yes. Now, so, uh, of course, now it is. Uh, see, we we have seen that uh, 370 Article 370 has been abrogated so easily. Yes, of yes. course, there is a difference between article and uh, constitution. Mm. Six schedule is not an article. Okay. This is, it is not an article of the constitution. Mm -hmm. It is constitution within constitution. Uh, mm -hmm. It is not made, uh, it, uh, the making of six schedule, the power of making six schedule has not been drawn from any article. Okay. Uh, it is a constitution itself. Whereas articles are uh, within the constitution, constitution, it is on the article. It is not a constitution, not as, constitution. Yes. Uh, as such. Mm -hmm. So it can be repealed. Yes. by two-thirds majority. Mm -hmm. Now, constitution, now again, the problem, uh, the important thing is that what is constitution? Yes. What, yes. Is, what is constitution? This is important. Mm. Yes. What is constitution? It is the basic law. Mm. And it tells about the principles for mm. a country that describes mm. the rights and duties of the citizens. Mm and also the principles of law of a nation yes, yes. and the powers and duties it explains about mm -hmm. it provides a platform mm -hmm. for all the citizens of india mm -hmm. we can enjoy the fundamental rights and duties mm -hmm. and it tells about the rules of political or social organization of a particular nation or a state mm -hmm. sir may i ask this question mm -hmm. Why does the constitution establish the uh, sixth schedule and the fifth schedule? Why it is important to create this sixth schedule for the uh, this fifth schedule and the sixth schedule areas? Yeah, I want to add to what you have already said. Uh, what is constitution? Constitution is a legal framework for building or constructing a country. Mm. It is a a legal framework mm -hmm. for constructing a country, mm -hmm. an independent country, a sovereign nation, mm. yes, yes, yes. for constructing or building a sovereign nation. nation. So, since uh, six schedule is a mini constitution or constitution within constitution, that means the area governed by the six schedule is mini country. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. It is a mini country. Yes. It is a mini nation. Yes. It is a nation within a nation. Mm. No, so, yes, some of the people they mean take a negative point regarding mm -hmm. about when we say about that uh, six children is a mini country mm -hmm. within a country. Yeah. So yes, sir, you can clarify it. No, they, they, this is nothing to be uh, no, nothing to be afraid of. Yes. It is written in the constitution. Yes, yes, yes. We are not speaking against India. Yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. It is made by India. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is made by India. Mm -hmm. So. The thing is that constitution is the framework of for constructing a country. Mm -hmm. And since six schedule is a mini constitution, that means the tribal area mm -hmm. re, uh, uh, mentioned in paragraph 20 of the six schedule, these tribal areas are so to say, mini country. Mini country. That is what we have to understand. Mm -hmm. And mini country, it doesn't mean that we are independent. Yes, so yes, yes. Just as the red Indian areas in USA, mm -hmm. they are not independent. Everything is depend independent, they say. Yes. And then, but they are citizens of USA. Yes, yes, yes. And they have to follow the law of USA. Mm -hmm. But when they follow the law of USA, they will have to modify it. Mm -hmm. uh, which is, uh, so to say, fit for them. Yes, the yes. same way, all laws of India 
can the state government mm. can or as can apply in six schedule area, but it has to be modified. That is, it is written in paragraph twelve of the six schedule. Yes, yes. Uh, it is not a anti anti nation anti national statement. Mm. It is para written in paragraph twelve that all laws, mm. if it has to be applied in six schedule area, it will have to be modified. Mm -hmm. We, uh, uh, to make it fit for the tribal area. Yes. No, this is the thing. Mm. Yes. So yes, uh, there is a. It's a. Uh, the, uh, let me clarify it. That mm -hmm. uh, what Sir had said that uh, we are not a secessionist leader. Mm -hmm. We are not going to. Uh, we are not saying that uh, that uh, that, uh, that uh, tribes area, that the uh, six little areas are separated from uh, from uh, uh, from India. So uh, as it is written in paragraph twenty of the six little uh, in the six little that the uh, tribes people. The area where the tribes people live, mm -hmm. it's like a mini country within yes. the country. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing to be confused. I yes, 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 yes. Nothing to be confused. Yeah, there's nothing to be confused. Uh -huh. And so, will you clarify about the six schedule areas that uh, it is the it is not a reservation law? What what does it mean? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, many people think that it is a, a reservation law. Mm -hmm. So they say that in six schedule, uh, nothing is mentioned about reservation of the tribal people. Okay. And so they say that six schedule area is open for all. Mm -hmm. They say like this, yes, even, yes. even a, yes. a former a former minister, yes. uh, a tribal a tribes person, mm -hmm. a former minister, he also said, and another uh, uh, standing MLA also said that six schedule is open for all. Mm -hmm. That means See, they, 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 they are foolish thing. That means they don't know <laughs> anything about six schedule. Yeah, <laughs> it is a foolish thing. Yeah. If it is not open for all. Then what is the reason of making yes, it? Yes, uh, yes. What is the reason? Yeah, what what is, is the reason of making it for tribal people? Yes, uh, yes, yes. And what what is the reason of calling it to be tribal area? Mm -hmm. uh, that is the thing. Uh, so can uh, autonomous uh, district council create their own laws? Yes. Mm -hmm. They 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 can make their own laws. Mm -hmm. But uh, as per paragraph six, mm -hmm. the uh, all laws. Made by the council will have to be signed by approved by the governor. Yes, yes. Yes. Just as all laws made by India will have to be signed by, give assented assented to by the president. Mm -hmm. The same way, mm -hmm. all and then the laws made by the state government also will have to be assented to by the governor. The same way, the council. Whenever we make any autonomous council make any law, it will have to be approved by the governor. By the governor. But here is the problem. Mm -hmm. Here is the problem. Mm -hmm. The problem that is the reason that uh, many people say that six schedule is very bad because it will have to be uh, uh, approval will have to be uh, uh, obtained from the governor. And it is true when uh, in in uh, BTC that is Bureau and Territorial Council. Uh, we made about thirteen laws, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes, thirteen or fourteen laws, mm -hmm. and we submitted all the laws to the governor mm -hmm. for approval. Mm -hmm. But it, uh, the governor never approved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing. Now, if see, let us think, if the state is dominated by, controlled by our tribes people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Then the governor will have to listen to the cabinet of the tribes uh, government, government yes, of yes. the tribes people. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and so, yes, because governor signs or do everything at the advice of the cabinet. Yes, yes. yes. and if the cabinet is controlled by the tribes people, then uh, automatically the tribes people, the governor, the cabinet will ask the governor to sign it, to sign and it. so. Yes, yes. If the state is controlled by the tribe people, the governor will have to sign it. Mm -hmm. So the six schedule can be implemented better mm -hmm. if the state government is uh, controlled by our tribe people. Mm -hmm. okay. mm. See, uh, yes, yes, sir, you have clarified it. Mm. And yes, uh, as uh, we have heard from many political leaders, mm. uh, the, especially in Caribbean law. I am mm. not going to speak about the political leaders uh, beside Karbim, uh, apart from Karbim. Mm. But here in Karbim, there are some political leaders who speak about the, the, uh, the, that, that, that six schedule is not very important. Instead of six schedule, we need uh, that, uh, the impl implementation of Article 244A. Uh, 244A. Yes. Yes. 244A is, is a, a sub state within yes. 
within a state. Uh, that is, uh, so to say, a promotion from uh, uh, autonomous council to autonomous state. Uh, yes, yes, yes. That under Article 244A. It is under Article, Article. it is not of the six schedule. Uh, uh, that is a problem there. Uh, so, if it is not of the six schedule, it becomes a general state. A general state, uh, yes. And if it is a general state, then there is no provision for protecting or uh, yeah. reservation for the tribal people. That means uh. everything is open. Open yeah. again. There is uh. no reservation. Yes. yes. If, the gener if a state is a general state, mm. it is open for all. Yes, uh. yes, yes. Unless, if it is a, if, uh, if we want a, a protection, if the tribal people want protection, then even if we have a state, we must have six schedule. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, can you tell us about the water lease uh, in six schedule areas? Yes, that is it. Uh, see, six schedule, since it is six schedule, is a mini constitution. So, after uh, Article 2, I mean, Paragraph 2 says that there will be an autonomous council. Mm -hmm. Article, uh, Paragraph 2. And in Paragraph 2, paragraph, uh, sub Paragraph 7, it is said that the autonomous for conduct of election to the autonomous council and for preparation preparation of the voter list the council itself mm -hmm. should make must make mm -hmm. their own laws mm -hmm. state government cannot make so as according to paragraph uh, 2 sub paragraph 6 mm -hmm. for the first for the constitution of the first council, mm. the governor, that means the state, the state of Assam, was authorized to make a temporary law mm. Mm, in 1951, and it is only rule. It mm. is not an act also. It is only rule, mm -hmm. uh, rules of 1951, mm. and it is said that in uh, in paragraph two, sub paragraph seven, it is said that after constituting. After constituting the, fir uh, the first council, the first council, the first thing the first council should do is to make law for conduct of election and for preparation of electoral laws. Mm. <laughs> it has to be made because it is autonomous. What do you mean by auto? Oh, yes. Auto means self. Self. Mm. Yes. Self. Mm. Autonomous. That is by self. That is the self of the tribal people, the tribes people. Self, which is run yes, by self. self, yes, which is run by self, yeah, yeah. That tribes self mm -hmm. should make it. That is the reason why paragraph two, sub paragraph seven has been uh, inserted there. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. And for that, uh, the problem with like this, our our tribes people are not so uh, efficient uh, <laughs> about the law. Yes, it yes. is written in the constituent assembly debates also yes, yes. that tribes people do not know the nitty gritty of law. Mm -hmm. So, for them, a separate law will have to be made. Yes, that is yes. what it is written. Mm -hmm. So, after making the six schedule also, our people could not understand. Mm -hmm. And so, now, six schedule was made in 19, uh, completed in 1949. Uh, November 26, I think. Mm -hmm. November 26, 1949. It was completed. Yes, yes. It yes. was declared. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, 1949, till now, our autonomous councils, not even one autonomous council, has made their own law for conduct of election and for preparation of electoral roles. Mm -hmm. yes. Even now, 69 years passed, mm -hmm. but we have not made our own law. Mm. That is, but that law is the political power, yes. the most important political power. Because if we make our own law for conduct of election and, and prepare, preparation of electoral rules, that means uh, while making that law, we should make we can make the law that only uh, who are the people, uh, only the tribes people will be able to contest election, uh, mm -hmm. and only the tribes people will be able to vote the. Uh, in the election, mm -hmm. that uh, that word will be will certainly be written there because it is written in the six schedule. So certainly it will be written there. Now since we have not made our own law till now, not even one schedule, uh, six schedule area they have made their law even now. Mm -hmm. So uh, we filed a case in High Court. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Yes. We ask the autonomous council of Kardi Anglong to make uh, our law mm -hmm. as per paragraph 2, sub paragraph 7. Mm -hmm. But the council, Kardi Anglong, this uh, autonomous council, they are frightened, they are afraid of making any law for our own protection. And so we went to High Court mm -hmm. in 2017 and then we filed a PIL number 9, uh, 2017. And the High Court in 2018 has issued an order that particular law for conduct of election of the council and preparation of electoral law must be made by the council. And the council was given six months time to make. But our council is afraid to make a, a, the law. Even now they have not made. Mm. This is, we are shouting that we want autonomous state, we want autonomy, but the autonomy already given, if they are afraid to exercise. Yes, mm. Instead they are losing all the... Yes, <laughs> yes. Mm. Uh, yes, you had already explained about paragraph 2, sub paragraph 7. Mm. So here in paragraph 3, uh, empowers the council to make or improve or modify their traditional land tenure system. Uh. Settlement of land must be done by the autonomous council in concurrence with the traditional administrative system of each of the tribe. So, uh, sir, please tell us about what does this paragraph uh, mainly talks about. See, uh, six schedule, the main objective of making six schedule was to protect the land of the tribal people. Yes, okay. yes. The land. Uh, and protecting the land of the tribal people, there must, uh, 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 they, they must have the political power. Mm. Okay. Political power can be derived through election, through voting. Mm. Mm. So, uh, 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 law will have to make by us. Now, uh, for protection of land is the main reason for making the six children. Uh, if we can read out from this, this is the uh, this is the uh, uh, the con constituent assembly debate. Yeah. Yes, yes. Let it be here. No. Constituent assembly debate number four, uh, book number four. It is it is found there. Land is the main reason, and so the aim of the makers of the constitution, that is uh, Reverend J J M Nichols Roy, is the architect of the six schedule, and then uh, he was. Uh, strongly supported and made it to happen by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Yes. According to them, land must be with the, with the tribal people. And so, the, and then not only that, their own traditional law mm. governing land tenure system, all this must be retained. Mm. That was the reason. So, in paragraphs uh, 3, power was given, power has been given to the council to make, modify, improve their own law, their traditional law, yes. land tenure system, not new one. Uh, they, do not, they don't have to uh, adopt the land law of other state. Yes. Uh, for example, Tripura people, uh, Tripura Tribal Area Council need not adopt the land law of Tripura, uh, Tripura uh, government. Mm. And in Assam, we don't need to adopt the land law, this Assam Land Revenue Regu Regulations of 1886, we should not have taken this law. Uh, but yes, yes. due to our own uh, ignorance of law, we adopted in 1953. So, so according to that, we should have our, uh, we should retain our own land tenure system, so-called tribal law. But I think uh, we cannot call it tribal law because all laws are tribal law. In the from the begin in the beginning. Yes, yes. Mm. So paragraph yeah. four and five talks about judicious <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay. <coughs> paragraph four and five talks about judi uh, judiciary system. system. Yes. Now again, judiciary system. Uh, our people used to say that uh, our judiciary system and administrative system are all mixed up. There is no separation of executive and judicial. Uh, judicial. Huh? Uh, so we should not take it. But the thing is not like this. We have been given the six schedule, through the six schedule we have been given the power to retain our own uh, administrative law and our own uh, judicial law. Mm -hmm. 
the traditional judicial system mm. and traditional administrative system, our own, mm. from time immemorial we have mm. been having. Mm. Because in the constituent assembly debates also said that our traditional laws are quite good. Mm. <laughs> It need not be replaced. It is written there. So, we should take administrative law, traditional administrative law and judicial law, but we can modify it. Mm -hmm. Because all the modification and improvement is there everywhere. Mm -hmm. it, we could have modified it and separation of executive and judicial mm -hmm. also should have been affected in the traditional law itself. Mm -hmm. We need not take it from the CRPC or IPC. Mm -hmm. So, so it is learned that uh, in uh, our neighboring state Tripura, mm. the land settlement is done by the state government. So, yes, that is what is, I ask. Is, is, it, uh, is it a constitutional or unconstitutional? <laughs> Actually, if it is like that, uh, in the uh, um, in the sixth schedule, mm -hmm. I think B, I think uh, for Tripura, mm -hmm. uh, there about land that it should be settled by the state government is not retained. Mm -hmm. But I have heard that in Tripura, uh, the land settlement is done by the state government. Mm -hmm. It is totally illegal. It is unconstitutional mm -hmm. uh, because sixth schedule. Uh, the main reason for making Sikh schedule is to protect the land of the tribe people. Yes, yes. Sir. Now, if the land is settlement is done by non-tribal people, then how will they look after the tribal people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now they, they are in trouble. Uh, Tripura people are in uh, abject poverty. They are in a uh, dire uh, uh, situation there yes. now at present. Yes, this problem has happened not only in Tripura, even in Karbian law. Karbian law also. Even in, also. A city, six city, eight, yes. even in, yes. in the six city states like Meghaya also. I, yes. Yes, I want to say. The, the thing is that we are very lucky that uh, we have uh, we have been recognized as a six city areas. Uh -uh. Otherwise, uh, from the very beginning, during the fifth and sixth, seventh, uh, uh, this one, Constituent Assembly debate in September 1949, mm. <laughs> there are various uh, ministers from Assam, especially like, <coughs> I want to take the name like the uh, Sri Rohini Kumar Chaudhuri and Sri Kuladhar Chaliha, mm. they are shouting uh, in the Constituent Assembly uh, like to repeal the, 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 the power not of the Yes, yes not, not to the adopt the yes, yes, yes. We have seen all these things. Mm. But uh, we must be very thankful for our leaders like, uh, uh, like uh, Sri A.B. Thakur, like Sri Jaikur Singh, mm -hmm. uh, Sri, uh, like the Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar, mm -hmm. or Raven J. J. Nicholas Roy. Mm -hmm. we, should be very, we must be very thankful. We should be very thankful because because of those leaders, conscious mm -hmm. leaders, mm -hmm. our Sikh schedule has been saved. Yeah. Right but yeah. uh, we have seen that even this, uh, this Sikh schedule, which have been, with, uh, which, uh, which, which was saved uh, very difficult, which was saved very difficult by uh, those leaders, it was uh, lost by the present leaders. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have seen here. Sir, I, I would also like to ask you a question that can panchayat be applicable applicable in the uh, in the six general areas? Uh -huh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Before coming to that, I want to finish that point. Uh, okay. That that is really, you know, what you have asked is very important. Uh, that is very important. But uh, regarding that uh, uh, law for conduct of election and for preparation of electoral role of the council. Huh? Mm. Uh, somebody said that since this has been amended by the council, autonomous council, so it is it amounts to adoption. Hmm. But it is not like that. The High Court has said that the law of uh, the rules of 1951 was made by the governor, mm -hmm. and so the council has got no power to amend it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, the council must make their own law for conduct of election and yes. in, uh, for preparation of electoral laws. This one, the, the, uh, this is important thing that uh, we have already got the order from the High Court. Mm. Yes. Now, regarding your uh, uh, your question regarding Panchayat, mm. according for Panchayat, I think you all know, uh, I think we are not constitutional expert here. Mm. Mm -hmm. I do not claim to be constitutional expert, mm, mm -hmm. not at all. Mm -hmm. But whatever I I read, I, I have seen is that uh, in Article two hundred forty three, yes, 
and of the constitution, not of six schedule, mm -hmm. constitution of India, article 243, clause D. Uh, mm -hmm. Clause D, it is said that, uh, uh, clause D, uh, somewhere it is said that panchayat means an institution by whatever name called mm. of self-government. Mm. Yes. Mm. Panchayat means an institution within bracket by whatever name called of self-government. Mm. That is article 243 clause D. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Now, what do, what, do, what do you mean? That means, Panchayat is for, it is every primitive institution of the uh, North Indian people. Uh, I think it was existent even during the time of Ashoka the Great. Sandhu Gupta Morjo. At that time also it was uh, prevalent. Mm. Now, uh, the Constitution, Article 243, has allowed us to have our own self-government, our own institutions. Yes. For example, so far I know, for <coughs> Panchayat is, the meaning of Panchayat is Panchayat, that means a council or committee of five members, Panch, five, Panchayat. But now it is modified. So in Panchayat, in Gram Panchayat, there are about 16 members. Okay. But we still got it five members. Mm. Mm. It, it has become a nomenclature. Mm. Mm. Five Panchayat, five members has become a nomenclature. Mm. Likewise, uh, we have got our own, for example, the uh, Hrankhol people, Kuki people, Mar people, Boro uh, people, they have got Tulsong Vaisa. Mm. To song mm. That is their panchayat. That is a panchayat yes. It is allowed by constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, see, it is allowed by the constitution, Article two forty three D. Yeah, because mm. it is said that what by what by so whatever name name called. Yes. Mm. The name may be different. Yes. 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 Then again, uh, for example, for Na Aunaga, it is Putu Menden. Mm. 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 It is panchayat. But Nagaland government made a mistake. They, I heard that. Uh, the cabinet adopted a, re a resolution that they will adopt Panchayat. Gram mm. <laughs> Panchayat. Mm. I mean, they have got already put in there. Uh. Uh, why should they adopt Gram uh, uh, Panchayat? Gram yeah. Panchayat is somebody, uh, somebody's things. It is not ours. Uh, so, that has been a, a, a mistake. And we Karbi people also made a, nearly made a mistake. We made a mistake actually. They said that we, we do not. It is a two song visa. Two cookie, yeah, cookie people. Uh, two song visa. Mm. Then, uh, and uh, song sadven. Uh, Rehmanagas. Uh, then, that is for uh, Uh, read in uh, all these things properly. Salayaro, uh, Salayaro, uh, this is for Dimasa people. Uh -huh. And then uh, for others, they have already said, I think they, they have their. Uh, uh, uh -huh. And then for this, our. We Kari people have got three tire system. Say one cap have got three tire system. Called the uh, uh, and uh, autonomous hill state was granted. Mm. Yes, yes. Autonomous hill state was granted for the uh, five hills districts of Assam. Mm. That is, Karbi is ruled by the tribes people themselves, like Meghalaya or like Nagaland, uh, like Mizoram. I think. Uh, then there should not be so much problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So then, what is the difference between Articles three seventy and six schedule uh, and Article thirty five also? Yeah, Article thirty five and Article three seventy is concerning Jammu and Kashmir. Mm -hmm. 
a special status was given and that special status is almost like the Sikh rule mm. almost like the Sikh rule if you read it properly it is almost like the Sikh rule uh, this article 370s the difference is this again since article 370 is an article of the constitution uh, and article 35 is also article of the constitution of India it can be amended or repealed by two-thirds majority uh, and so it was uh, abrogated by two-thirds majority uh, but six schedule cannot be abrogated uh, this is the difference six schedule maybe it looks very weak Mm. Very small thing, but it cannot be abrogated, it cannot be repealed uh, mm. by two thirds majority also. This is the main difference. Mm. Okay. So, yes, uh, now, uh, yes, now there is one question from my side that uh, how the government they have weakened the six shadow and what is the reason why? No, oh. this is the reason. The reason uh, why uh, no, this constitution uh, uh, this uh, was amended by the government of India, uh, but still the government they want to weaken the six schedule. Yes, what is the reason. The uh, mm. uh, six schedule is all the previous six schedule is no more. We are too weak now. Yes, yes. Six schedule only in name almost. Mm -hmm. Now every time when they were the underground people go to Delhi to sign an agreement. MOU or MOS, mm -hmm. they always uh, surrender autonomy. Mm -hmm. They demand, they go there for uh, more autonomy, mm -hmm. but they always surrender some autonomy because mm -hmm. <laughs> some autonom autonomous power. It is because we do not know what is law. Mm -hmm. That is the thing, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I also do not know, mm -hmm. but so far I know it's like that. For example, in 1969, they have surrendered by putting the word uh, with the approval of the governor uh, and in 1960 uh, 1986 when when um, uh, Mizoram was granted a union territory uh, they said that oh, you, you are already got union territory so six schedule is not required for you uh, and so they thought it is true uh, mm -hmm. so they abolished uh, six schedule from Aizhou district Mm. Yes, yes, yes. And now they are asking for six schedule again. Mm. Yes, in Mizoram, yes. Yes, six schedule was uh, uh, this one. Mm. Uh, six schedule can be found only in uh, three autonomous districts. Yes. I think that is in uh, Lai Autonomous District Council, uh. Mara Autonomous District Council, Chakma Autonomous District Council. Yes, yes, yes. Only in some three. few areas. And uh, area like Lumlai, Serchi, uh. Arzol, uh. there is no, 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 six, no six schedule. Yes, yes. Now the problem is that, of course, there is special provision is there in uh, in 370 for 370 B or C or something like this for uh, Mizoram mm -hmm. but the problem that uh, we have to be uh, afraid of is that mm -hmm. again the 370 whether B or C or A mm -hmm. it is an article it can be again uh, repealed Re by repeal. uh, yes, yes. two thirds majority yes yes, yes. yes. just like common yes, just, just like you mentioned <laughs> if they have if they continue to have six schedule they will, it would have been uh, safer for them Mm. Yes. This is the problem. Mm. Sir, okay. I, it's really... Ajahn, now, and then again, let, let me finish this question. That is, uh, again in the 1988, I think, uh, there was a MOU, some agreement was uh, signed between the uh, people of Tripura and the government of India. Mm. And by that, uh, six schedule was granted but it is a broken six schedule. Uh, mm -hmm. A broken six schedule because uh, previously I think 10 constituencies or 5 constituencies were reserved for non tribal people. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Are the six schedule is tribal area, it is only for tribal people. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, how can it be reserved for non tribal people? Yes. I think so far now, I think they have reserved for uh, two, uh, two, something like this only. Yes, 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 but, yes. Whether it is two or one, it is breaking of six schedule. Mm -hmm. So, yes. whether, so by, by taking um, uh, power in 1988, I think they lost some power, mm -hmm. uh, some power of the six schedule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then moreover, six, the main objective of six schedule is to protect law, land, and now the land is under the state government. Mm -hmm. This is the thing. Mm -hmm. yes, <coughs>
I think there is a conspiracy going on. Yeah, there, there is a conspiracy. Some groups of people who want to advocate the yes. six shadow. Yes, and then uh, in Caribbean law, not to speak of others, it is we are not uh, accusing others. Our own Caribbean law by uh, this UPTS people went to sign an uh, MOS yeah. and then they surrendered the power of uh, paragraph 2 uh, sub paragraph 7 also they surrendered yeah. mm. and then uh, yes why yeah. uh, did they, they surrender they don't know because of yeah. unconsciousness, yeah. unconsciousness ignorance mm. Mm. they surrendered mm. okay. and then I think they surrendered uh, some more about 4 of them 4, four powers they surrendered mm. Mm. In the name of getting more power. Yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. It is a funny thing. Mm -hmm. See, uh, this conspiracy can be seen even during the creation of uh, Meghalaya in 1969. Mm -hmm. And we can see, we can find uh, this is a city of Silong. Mm -hmm. There are more than 27 words. Yes. And among 27 words, I mm -hmm. think uh, more than uh, five words are reserved for non tribal For example, like the uh, jail group, word mm -hmm. number 11, jail group, word number 10, mm -hmm. and European word, word mm -hmm. number 8. Police Bajar and Silong Cantonment. Mm -hmm. And Silong Cantonment is in the middle of Silong City. Silong. It is the largest area, mm -hmm. word I need to say, mm -hmm. where it is a reserve for non tribal. Mm -hmm. And all the tribal areas like the uh, Laibunka, the Laban, and all, these are all uh, which is uh, far away from the town areas, I, mm -hmm. I need to say. And so, what is the reason, sir? And who put all this uh, area, turning this area into a non tribal area? What is this uh, non-tribal that it goes back to the constituent assembly debates mm -hmm. at that time uh, Ruhini Kumar Chaudhuri mm -hmm. and Kuladhar Chaliha from Assam mm -hmm. they opposed as we have already said mm -hmm. they opposed making of the six mm -hmm. uh, Ruhini Kumar Chaudhuri was complaining that he could not buy a plot of land in Shillong mm -hmm. he said like this mm -hmm. and so um, at that time since the um, uh, the uh, Shillong was the capital of Assam. Assam, yes. Assam yes. means the present northeast mm -hmm. uh, seven sisters uh, yes, yes, yes. at that time. So, oh. and then the majority are most, uh, almost the majority people in the Shillong municipality were non tribal people. And so, I think it was decided that it should be outside uh, the six mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, yes. But it was wrong. It was that, that, yeah. Yes, it was wrong, and it he was, not he was like the, that. yes, uh, he was the person who was uh, shouting like anything in a yeah, yeah, yeah. assembly that if we give more power to tribal people, then it will become like Pakistan. Yes, no. <laughs> it will become tribal uh, stand. Tribal yes, stand. Yes, 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 yes. It will be communist stand. Yes. Yes. Said like this. Uh, yes, I have the uh, uh, remaining question. Uh, yeah, as we belong to the six schedule areas, mm. we are the marginalized section mm. under Asian countries. Mm. So. Uh, why did the government adopted the two child policy and not five child policy? Why only two child policy? What is the reason behind for this six mm. schedule area, sir? For six schedule area, uh, we are too small. Mm. Our population is too small. Mm. So it is not proper for us uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to have only two children, according to me. Because uh, Others are not for, uh, producing only two, and then they, although they may not be produced at all, but they are already too many. No? Yes. We, we are, are in growth. We are in yes. lakhs. Millions. Uh, lakhs. And yes. some of us are thousands only. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Some tribes are only thousands. Yes. But they are close. No? Yes. So for them, even if they do not produce even one also, there is no problem for them. But mm -hmm. for us, it is, it is a problem. Yes. It is yes. a big we problem. Yes. Yes. It is a problem. Yes. Yes. Now, if we do not produce, Children, if we do not have uh, people, then what is the meaning of having a, a mini country? Mm. Is it country is for uh, uh, leg, uh, what is it? Yes, country is for people. Uh, and if there is no people, then what is the use of having any country? Mm. It is written in a book mm. that a person who has more children mm. is like a person who has more arrows. Yes, mm. it yes. is. Yeah. If a person have only one arrow, yeah. the enemies will not fear. Yeah. Now this is the this is the example. Yeah, yeah. And if we have less population, mm. who will protect this land? Yeah. And then moreover, yeah. when six schedule was made, yes. <coughs> it was made by the constituent assembly of India mm -hmm. by looking at the whole of India. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
they will make they will make that six idol not by looking at inside Kambia Rock mm. or in in Tripura Tribal area or in Kasi Hills by making only if they look at only in Kasi Hills or if they look only in Kambia Rock then of course they will find that Kambis are majority. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Karbis are majority. But the thing is, they are looking from the whole, uh, from top, they are out there, look, uh, on the whole of uh, India. After looking, considering in the whole of India, only they have made uh, the Sikh schedule for us. And that is the reason why Sikh schedule is only for the schedule tribe people. Usually it was only for real tribes people. Mm. And then we are, it is written that uh, our population is too small. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We may face extinction. That is a thing. Yes. So if we make a two children policy, then if the children are all, uh, uh, maybe all uh, girls only, so to say, then uh, they will have no place to marry also. And so naturally it will go to other ends. Mm. And that is why what Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar. He, he himself belongs from the Dali tri tribal family mm. and after all his courses, after all his experiences being the chairman of the drafting committee in the constitution, yes, yes. he himself has uh, understood that mm. Mm. I need to means uh, educate, educate and organize the marginalized section. That's what his mm. philosophy yeah, yeah. And, the, and Dr. B. R. Ambedkar's philosophy. Yeah. So he said that we need to educate and agitate and organize. So mm. my dear brothers and sisters of all the northeastern region of the six schedule areas, we really need to educate ourselves. Mm. We need to educate from ourselves and our society. And after our education, we need to agitate. We need to raise our voice of all those injustices that we are facing. Mm. So we need to organize seminars, talk show, debates. So all yes. this we need to follow mm. up. Yeah. Because of a because of our ignorance. See in two thousand thirteen uh, at one lot in Karbianglong uh, fourteen hundred LP school teachers were appointed. Fourteen hundred mm, LP school teachers were appointed. Only eighty Karbis got appointment. The rest, yes, out of 1400, only 80, 80, hmm. 80, 80, only 80 Kardi people got appointment. And the rest, 1320 were from outside Kardi Anglo. And then they are not, uh, he, they are not scheduled tribes. Hmm. Non so, uh, non scheduled tribe. Uh, and so, this is the, our ignorance. Uh, um, this is the mistake, uh, that is uh, intentionally the, the state government has done it in the name of TEP, T-E-T, uh, -E TEP. Uh, they say that, but TEP is also, education department is a trusted subject, it is a, a that is a inherent subject of the six schedule, education department. Appointment also has to, has to be done by the council and it has been done by the council for, for so long. But in 19, uh, in 2013, the state government took over and then they applied the uh, reservation system. ST and is SC reservation system. The ST and SC reservation system is for outside six schedule area. It is not for six schedule area. If it is for six schedule area, then there will be no meaning of six schedule. Yes, hmm. yes, yes. Because uh, Sikh Hidul, it is tribal area, it is for all tribal, only for tribal people only. And we have got uh, so many educated, unemployed uh, uh, youth yes, among yes, the tribes people, yes. not only Karbis. There are so many cookies here, there are so many mar here, there are so many dimasas here, there are so many uh, uh, Shyam Thai here, there are so many uh, Kasis here, Rengmas here, Rengmanaga, Garos here. They are all now, uh, they could not get any appointment in Karpian law and so they have gone to uh, to serve as uh, low paid uh, chokidars in Bangalore, uh, in Chennai, in Mumbai, in Delhi, in Kolkata, in Pune. They are serving there and then uh, in Kerala, they are complaining that they are living there like slaves mm. mm -hmm. and so many died. Yes, their yes. dead bodies could not be brought. Yes, yes. Mm. We have found all these things. We have seen yes. social media. And then among, among girls, 
among girls, many have become prostitutes uh, in Bangalore and in the metro cities. Mm. Not uh, because we are unable to get appointment in Karbian Law. We are unable to get uh, jobs in Karbian Law because the jobs are given to non-tribal people here. Mm. The reason is that because our leaders are not very conscious about six children. Yes. That's why they are they are losing everything. Mm. They are losing their powers to the to the to the to the state government. I yes. And then I asked that the autonomous council to carry out a survey. Mm. How many tribes, youth people, uh, you have the uh, young boys and girls of the tribes people? How many of them have left Karbian law uh, uh, for uh, seeking? livelihood outside in uh, metro cities uh, i uh, submitted application memorandum and then the uh, council in the beginning he accepted they accepted my application and then they are happy to survey it but in the middle they kept uh, they stop it because i think they were scolded by those uh, non-tribal people most likely uh, and so they are afraid to carry out the survey. They have stopped uh, carrying out the survey. Now, those uh, non-tribal uh, people who are serving their uh, like slaves uh, in the metro cities, they have come back here and most of them have brought this coronavirus along with them. Mm. This is a problem for us. Yes, yes. So that's why uh, many men, women, youngsters need to be educated yes. and through this education we need to ever, we need to go to the grassroots level and make a healthier situation, a happy life, mm. a, so, uh, a social environment mm. and we need to develop our skills, attitude, yes. our, all the information should be given from one to another yes. and we need to build self-confidence yes, yes, also, yes. capacity building, mm. we need to uh, work hard. We need to be united as uh, one umbrella. Yeah, and then moreover, we are demanding uh, our share, uh, our share granted by the constitution. Uh, because we do not have our own pl uh, another place for us. Yes, yes. yes. For yes. other people, they have got in, in London also. Yes. Uh, there are members in the London House of Lords also uh, in 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 India. Uh, in uh, America also they have got so many yes, yes, yes. they are senators also there uh, but for us uh, not to speak of senator or anything we do not have even sufficient MLAs in Assam also mm. yes, yes, it is not so, so uh, we do not have even sufficient uh, officers also uh, yes. that is why we are it is not we are demanding ours our place not because we hate others but we are too small and then it is our constitutional right. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Mm. So since we have uh, talked for a long time, mm. uh, it's, a, yes, uh, it's a good time, it's a very pleasant time uh, for both of you, a uh, great leader from APHLC with us, especially yes, uh, Sir Jai Gatha, the president of APHLC and our uh, sister, uh, Ms., uh, Mrs. Uh, Ritu Kramsati, a president from uh, APHLC Women Wing. Uh, yes, we have uh, discussed a lot from this uh, six, the, about the goodness of six schedule, and we have we have uh, a lot of things to discuss in the days to come. Just as like uh, Robert Frost in a in a poem like uh, "Walking by Wood on a Snowy Evening," he said that we have a long way to go before we sleep. So there are a lot of things that we have to do before we sleep. So yes, my appeal to the uh, young generations, to the to the youths of Karbin Long, and to the people of the, of Karbin Long, as well as to the people of Norris. Yes. that we need to be very conscious we need to be very conscious because everything is there everything is that women of india has kept everything for for us and if we are not very conscious it will happen that we lost everything just mm -hmm. like what's happened in karbian mm -hmm. so uh, sir so ma'am we are very thank thankful for you for giving your time here and to all the viewers uh, thank you for watching our talk show and please share it and we'll meet in the days to come also so have a good time Thank 